Hey everyone, it's Sandy with Mommy's Frugal Finds and Bringing Moms Home. And today I wanted to do a massive, 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 should I say massive? Massive rummage sale haul. So, sorry, I had to adjust my camera a little bit. Um, hopefully I posted, okay, I'm going to probably post these two videos together, but yesterday I went to the same rummage sale and I grabbed a few items. Um, the main thing that I found was a huge... I'm sorry, not huge, well, kind of huge, um, a vintage chair. It's like a contemporary vintage chair, and I found that for three bucks, if you can believe it. Um, so, and I also found the upholstery fabric to redo it. It had, like, a little bit of wear on the cushion, so I'm going to redo that. And that was, like, the best thing that I found. I spent, like, 20 bucks yesterday at this rummage sale and, like, $5 today. So, total of $25, but I got, like, today I got five bags of clothes yesterday, I got just like one cute crocheted shirt, the chair, and some other, a few little items like some shams and sheets and stuff like that. So um, be sure to check out the other haul video. I'm going to try to post that one when I post this one. So you can see the other finds that I found at this rummage sale. So I'm just going to jump right in and show you what I found today. So like I said, I got five bags of clothes and this is one of the items that I got. Um, this is... A super cute shirt. So today for five bags of clothes I paid five dollars so it was a dollar a bag and I got there kind of late so I didn't get like the best. I mean I figured you know they would still have a bunch of stuff left because I went there yesterday and everything was all stacked up and they had tons and tons of clothes and nothing was picked through or anything so I figured I'd go drop off my son at school. He goes to school at 12 and then swing back by there at like you know 12 15 or so which um yeah, by the time I got there, everything was picked through, and there's hardly anything left. So, um, yeah, I didn't get the best of the best. So some of the stuff is going to be for projects, and they're gonna. A lot of the stuff that I have in this haul is like for refashion. So, um, I ordered a pair of glasses. Um, they're what are they even called? They're uh, basically like camcorder glasses. They have a video camera right in the middle, so that way when I'm doing a refashion. I can show you my view of how I'm doing it and exactly walk you through the process because some of those refashion videos you can't see exactly what the person's doing so there's a break there's a breakdown of clips and it's just you know a bunch of little edited clips so it's a little bit harder that way so I figured I'm not going to do those until I have a way to show you exactly how I'm doing it from start to finish so uh, be sure to subscribe if you like those kind of videos because I am going to be starting those pretty soon. And let's just jump right in and I'll show you what I got. So this one is actually a really cute kind of flowy top. And I'll stand up and show you what it looks like on the bottom. It's got a cute little band and it kind of falls over like that. It's kind of flowy on the bottom. I thought that was super cute and I actually wasn't sure if it was going to fit me because it's a large but... It actually fits pretty good. It's not too bad. You know, it's just a little tiny bit big, but yeah, I'm really liking it. It's really comfortable. And it's kind of dressy. Just one of those shirts like, you know, you have for just like a casual day or you can dress it up with like black slacks if you're going to like a business meeting or if you're going to church or something like that. So, um, yeah, let me just show you what else I got. Found a jacket, a jean jacket. This is really super cute. This is by M.A. Los Angeles. Never heard of that brand, but I thought it was cute. And the shoulders are kind of like, oh, what is that called? Victorian style, maybe? I'm not even sure what that's called, but I don't know if you could see how the sleeves are. Let me try it on, and I'll show you what I mean. The sleeves kind of go up into like a little, little bit of a cap. I'll show you. So see how the sleeves are? They're kind of like gathered right there and they kind of bunch up. So it almost looks like you have shoulder pads in there, but this was super cute. And I grabbed it not thinking that it was going to fit, but it actually fits perfect. And it almost, it almost looks like a blazer, like a jean blazer. So I don't have a jean jacket right now. So super excited about that to have a jean jacket now because they're back in style. It's like I swear, every time I have a jean jacket, I just, I never end up wearing it hardly, and then I end up donating it or something, and then, it's like, as soon as I donate it, it comes back in style, so, because I think I do have one jean jacket, come to think of it, but I refashioned it, like, um, 
there was a picture of Jessica Alba wearing this really cute um, denim one that had um, like sweat sweat sleeves like from a sweatshirt so it was like half jean and then half sweatshirt so what I did is I cut off the sleeves and I made it just like that just like a celebrity one so and then I never wore it I don't know why but it was super cute I just never had like an opportunity to wear it so I just didn't so anyways so that's that and it's kind of hot today so I'm going to take this off and show you the rest of the stuff that I got okay so I found these super cute shoes, and I'm so upset because these didn't fit me. These are actually a size 7. I wear about a 7.5, and, and they're super cute little wedges by Exhilaration, which is a Target brand. And I love the little detail right here. I don't know if you can see that, but it's almost like a little rosette or something. It's like a little knot right there on the end. Super cute. Um, like I said, a lot of the clothes that I got are actually refashion projects, so... A lot of them are not going to be like ready to wear or anything. A lot of them I bought for the fabric too, just FYI on that. Um, this is just a super cute skirt, but it's too, it's way, it's going to be way big on me. It's like a large, let me see, it's by White Stag and it's a large. So it's a 14, or 12 to 14, which is a little big on me. I mean, I could probably wear it with like a belt or fold it over and probably fit, but, um, the bottom is really super cute and flowy. I love how the bottom flows. The bottom is really ruffly and cute, and I love the print of it. That's like a paisley print. So, um, yeah, I'm not really sure. I think I might just leave this as a skirt. And the original price was $3, but this was, like I said, bag day. So everything was a dollar for a bag. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to probably just leave this as a skirt and just, like, kind of take off like a couple inches just to make it a little bit smaller so it fits like a skirt um, and then I can also wear it as a dress and belt it right here which I'm probably going to do more often okay this I bought for just the fabric this is actually a vintage shirt and I love the bottom look how cute the bottom is I love that so much and it's like a silk I'm not sure what the fabric is but it feels like silk and it's by Anthony Richards is a vintage vintage shirt. It's a hundred percent polyester, so it's definitely a vintage shirt. I mean polyester was the thing back in the day. So it's even got shoulder pads. I think I might take out the shoulder pads pads and start using those for um, for bathing suits. So I could use those for pads on bathing suits on the top. So I'll probably do that too. So that's going to be a refashion project. There's some ugly stuff that I got in here. I'm just warning you. This is not, like I said, ready to wear or anything. A lot of the stuff I bought for the fabric just to refashion and check this number out. This has some serious shoulder pads, but look how cute the fabric is. The fabric's really cute and kind of flowy in a summary. But look how ugly and hideous this is like your grandma's freaking church dress or I don't know day dress who knows I don't know anyone that wears this but um so yeah I'm probably gonna make this into something probably a dress of some type I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna refashion so stay tuned for that this one is another refashion project this is um by just my size. So, um, look at the fabric on this. This is cute blue fabric, kind of floral fabric, and it's really soft. It's really cottony and stuff. And I actually like this one, but it's really big. I mean, I would probably just leave it at that and just leave it as a button down. Let me try it on and see if it'll fit in any way. If it fits even just a little bit, I might just take in the back and, okay, yeah, it's, it's really big. So what I could do is put elastic in the back so, so it fits better, but yeah, this one's definitely going to be used for fabric. That one's going to take some work for sure. 
Got these shoes. These are Cherokee shoes. They kind of look like Skechers a little bit. And they're kind of like little Mary Janes. Just some comfy shoes. Um, I think I'm going to give these to my mom. I'm not sure. These are five and a half. Um, yeah, these are definitely not my size. I'll try them on because they do look a little bit big for a five and a half. But yeah, I don't think that those are going to work. But we'll see. I did get some cute belts too. Look how cute this one is. I've been needing belts really bad. And this one's a vintage belt. So freaking cute. I love that. I love these elastic belts. I'm seriously in love with these. Look how cute the hardware is on there too. There's one that I got that's super crazy with the hardware. Check this one out. Look at that hardware on this one. Have you guys ever seen anything like this before? This is crazy. Check out how crazy this belt is. Has anyone ever seen anything like that? It's so heavy and oh my gosh. It's kind of cool though. It's like one of those funky pieces that you just never see. I mean, sometimes when you, that's one thing about thrift shopping is you just never know what you're going to find and you never know what you're going to see. There's all kinds of crazy stuff that you just don't see at regular stores. So, so yeah, I thought that was kind of fun. And I did get some more belts. I actually grabbed all the belts that they had and they were all wound up. So this one's broken, but I'm definitely going to use this anyways. I'm going to use it for um, her sandals. So you can recycle belts and and, you know, use them for other things, for handles on stuff. This is another purse handle that I'm going to refashion. Um, I might even be able to use this for a belt, but if you could see, it's got kind of, kind of, um, clasp. What are these even called? Clasps on the end. So you can tell this came off of a purse that, you know, had the removable strap. This is just like a cute kind of summery, summery romper kind of slip dress. Actually, this is, what am I saying? It's not a romper. It is a slip dress. So I could make it into like a little romper type thing. And I think that's probably what I'm going to do with this. I do love the top. I like how cute the top is. I love polka dots right now. I don't know why. Polka dots are kind of vintage and kind of like... Kind of one of those classic things like like stripes that never really go out of style. So moving right along, check out this funky thing. This is funny. This is definitely something that you don't see every day. This is a vintage jumpsuit. And it's pretty crazy looking, I'll show you. So look at the pants. It's like a kind of like a nylon look. Okay, here's the top kind of like curtains or something, the way it's made. And it's got a sash connected in the back. And it's got one button to close it. I don't know if you can see that, but it's got one button closure. Or two, no, it's got two buttons to close it in the back. But look at the pant legs. They're like way the heck down there. And there's only a little bit of pants. So, I mean, if you wore this, your crotch would be like hanging way low. It'd be weird. So I'm definitely going to redo that one. Or I might even throw that in my Etsy shop and see how it does. Who knows? I mean, people are looking for all kinds of funky stuff. You never know what people are going to buy. I mean, that's the experience I've had with Etsy. It's like the craziest stuff you think is not going to sell and you like almost don't even list it. That's the stuff that people want. Seriously. Like if you're selling on Etsy and you're, um, you know, selling vintage or anything, Sorry, I had to just make sure that my boys are okay. Okay, they're okay. Hold on a second. Okay, so we're back in business. So, um, yeah, I just checked on them. They're totally fine. They're playing in the yard. Um, so let's just jump right in and show you what I got. Show you the rest of the stuff that I got, rather. Um, this is just a regular sheet. This is just a twin sheet in really good shape. And it's just a striped sheet. This is just something that I was thinking about maybe using it for just the fabric, but um, if it fits on one of my son's beds, then we'll just keep it as an extra sheet. 
We also got a bed skirt. This is just another extra bed skirt for my bed. This is a queen bed skirt, just in cream color. So just to change it up, the one I have on my bed right now is black. So it's always good to have like a lighter color when I change my comforter. I think I might do that actually because I got a really cute sheet set yesterday. And I think I'm just going to put a different comforter. And I got some really cute shams that are um, ruffly pink and white. So I think I'm going to redo my bed. It's always good to change things up and kind of give things a fresh look for spring. So I'm going to do that. Yeah, I'm definitely going to do that. That sounds like a good idea. I'll show you really quick the shams. Oh, no, you know what? I didn't get these yesterday. I just got these ones today. I was thinking I got these ones today. But so these are the shams that I got. Super cute and roughly. This is a really big one, though. I mean, see how long that is? It's freaking long. Made for, like, a really big pillow. So I'm probably going to, like, do a double pillow inside of there or something. I'm not sure how I'm going to work that, but I have to buy some bigger pillows for those shams. These are just like standard ones. These are standard shams, and those are really cute. I love the ruffle ones. I love the kind of like romantic look for bedrooms and stuff. I thought those were really cute. Moving right along, we've got this little sleep shirt. I'm not sure what who it's by. The tag's ripped off, but it's just like one of those comfy, cozy pieces to wear at night. Just t-shirt fabric. I'm going to kind of move faster here because I do have a ton more to show you and I've already went through quite a bit of storage space. So, hold on just one second. Hey, sorry about that. I had to check on my boys again. So, moving right along. Got this little, like, prom dress. Kind of ruffly. I thought the bottom was really super cute. The top definitely wouldn't fit me. It's really tiny, teensy tiny on the top. Probably like a size A cup on the top, but um, this is just going to be an eBay item, I think. It's got a cute little zipper in the back. I thought this would be so cute for someone to go to prom in. But yeah, I'm going to definitely put that on eBay, I think. I would have loved a prom dress like that when I was, like, I don't know. 15 or 16. Super cute. Doesn't have straps, but yeah, really cute for someone to go to prom in. This is just like a um, little sundress that someone made. And I'll probably have to refashion that one too into like a skirt or something because, again, the top is just really super small. It's like a size A or B. I don't know if you could see that. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. My little brother showed up because he is heading back to LA from, um, I live in Northern California, if you guys didn't know, and um, yeah, he's, he came over to say goodbye because he's heading back out of town, so kind of sad. I never see him hardly ever. I only see him like once a year, so I, I did get to spend some time with him yesterday, and yeah, so he's heading back, heading back home because he's got to be at work on Monday so anyways let's just jump right back in and I'll show you what I got I'm gonna kinda run through this fast though because I still have a bunch more stuff to show you and it's just gonna take a long time so this jacket is a trench coat and it's by Willie Smith and I I'm not sure if that's Will Smith or if it's just someone else named Willie Smith I don't know I've never heard of that brand but it's an extra large it's it's like a brand new coat I mean this is it looks like a really, really high quality jacket, and it's pretty obvious that it's never been dry cleaned. It's, I don't even think it's been worn. It's pretty crisp and new looking, and then it had this in the pocket, which is like a, um, kind of like a rain poncho thing, I think. I'm not positive on that. I didn't open it up, but that was in the pocket, so I'm just going to leave it in there. I'm actually going to sell this on eBay, I think. Um, not sure how much it's worth, but it's got cute little detail in the back. So yeah, and it's really feels like it's really good quality. It's a hundred percent cotton and a hundred percent polyester lining is made in Hong Kong. It's dry clean only. So there's that. I got this really hideous um 
what is this? I almost said it's a jumpsuit, but it's like it's by Paris Blues Originals, size 7. And it is the ugliest, like, dress-looking thing you've ever seen. Oh, my gosh. The lighting's going to be really bad. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I'm going to have to figure out the lighting. Hold on a second. Okay, sorry about that. We're back. We fixed the lighting. Obviously, it looks a ton better. So, okay, let's just jump right back in, and I'll show you the rest of the stuff that I got. As I was showing you, this is, like, the most hideous-looking, like, dress-looking thing that anyone's ever made. It's got, like, velvet trim. It's got, like, a velvet collar and velvet pockets. And, yeah, it's not pretty. Really long. Really super long. So actually, since jean is super popular right now, I'm going to redo this and I'm going to make it into um, like a halter jean dress. So that's what I'm going to do with this. That's what I had in mind for this and I, I hope it turns out cute. I might actually make it like a strapless or a halter. I don't know. We'll see. I know I'm going to make that a sundress or some kind of dress for summer. I got this little scarf just to tie my hair back. I thought it was kind of cute. Just, just for like, I don't know. Okay, maybe it's not so cute. <laughs> it's just like a, I don't know, just something to like tie my hair back when um, I'm doing my makeup or something like that. I, pro I usually don't really wear those kinds of things, but yeah, just for like nighttime or just pull my hair back for my makeup or if I'm doing a makeup video or something. Got this like jumpsuit looking thing. It's got this kind of like embroidery looking detailing. And it's a button down. It's got pockets. Really super long. So I'm just going to cut that into a little dress. Or I might even make it into um, to a romper or... Maybe like a little sundress. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. I know I'm going to make it shorter. I may may make it short, so I'm not sure. But I don't really like the style of it. I mean, kind of the top of it I do like, but I just don't like the length of it and everything. It's not really my style. This, I don't even know why I grabbed that. I thought that was just like a basic shirt, but it's got some kind of sponsor thing on the back. I'm going to use that for fabric probably to... Yeah, that's not something that I would probably wear. I got these really cute shorts. I love these. These are just cute little old navy shorts. And they're cuffed drawstring shorts. They are old navy the fort. And they're in my size, which is, well, it says size 6, but I know they'll fit me. I wear like a size 7. So, um... Yeah, they look a little bit big, and old navy sizes are like in misses, so they run a little bit big. So, well, actually, yeah. Okay, they, it might be a little bit big, actually. The, old navy does run a little bit big on their sizes. So, I still think it'll fit, though. This is a Lilu shirt. It's just like a strapless kind of summer top. But that'll be cute just for like lounging, just on lazy weekend days where I'm like sitting in the sun or gardening or whatever. I thought that was really cute. It's in really good shape. Got this cute dress and it's by Speechless. And I wanted to get some more dress clothes because we're planning on going back to church. Um, there's a church that's a really family-oriented church over by um, where I live, like not even a mile away from where I live, maybe half a mile. So, and there's another one in the the biggest town to where I live. So it's really super popular this chain of churches. So I'm gonna check it out, and if we like it, we're gonna probably go there every Sunday. So I'm trying to get some nice Sunday clothes together, um, and this is definitely something that I would wear to church or, you know, for like. A family event or holiday or something like that so yeah I was super excited about that that was a good brand too got some more belts these are just 
some basic belts. This is going to need like something in the middle of it. So I'm probably going to um, cut up a t-shirt and make it like a fringe detail on the front, just a black fringe with a whole bunch of strings in the front. So I really needed belts really bad. So I'm glad that I found all of these belts. And like I said, some of them I'm going to use for purse straps or purse handles. But, you know, some of them I'm going to keep. I probably got about, I didn't show all of them, but I got like maybe about 15 belts. Here's another one. I didn't even unroll that one. Here's another one. It's just like the one that I had before. It needs like something in the middle of it. And this one... Not sure if I showed that one. See how this one's a little bit messed up. So that one's definitely going to be reused, repurposed. This is a vintage dress. Um, it was 75 cents. And like I said, I got everything for a dollar. Dollar a bag. So it's just a long striped dress. Just got a real basic looking neckline. And it's got belt loops. It's elastic waist has pockets so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that I might make it into like a short dress or I might sell it as is just as a vintage piece this I was really drawn to the fabric of it it's really like out there and kind of loud and it's actually pretty sheer too though I just noticed that it's really sheer um, so basically it could be see-through I don't know doesn't have the tags but this is going to be another repurposed item, and this is like cut off, or no, it's not. I thought it was like, hold on a second. No, I thought it was shorts, but no. It's just a, it's just a, a dress, and I like the way it flows on the bottom. Here, let me show you how the bottom flows. See how that kind of hangs? So I might just cut that off and just use it just as a skirt, because I'm not really too fond of the top. Yeah, the top is kind of like grandma-ish, like teacher-ish, I don't know. Not really my style. This was kind of funky, and I kept putting this down and put, picking it back up, but look what it says. It says, whoa, cowboy, this isn't my first rodeo. So I thought that was really cute because, um, I don't know, it's like one of those things that are really different that you just don't see every day so I thought I'd grab it and at first I kind of laughed when I picked it up and I was like oh my god who would buy that and then I put it back down and I was like oh wait maybe I will buy it <laughs> maybe I'll buy this because I don't know I won't wear it I don't think but I think what I'll do is I'll repurpose it and I'll sell it on Etsy because it is one of those weird things that I think someone might like it's got to be the right person but yeah it's I'm going to probably make it like um like an asymmetrical kind of like tunic is what I'm thinking. I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you guys think about stuff like that? Weird or not? I don't know. I don't know. It was probably only 10 cents, so whatever. This, I really like the fabric of. That's why I grabbed it. This, look at the bottom of this. Okay, this is another one of those ugly kind of dresses that has like the button-down look to it, like a teacher would wear. See the top? Okay, so the top is really ugly once again, but look at the bottom. The bottom is super, super cute. Look how flowy it is on the bottom. So that's another one that I probably will turn into a, just a basic skirt. This is like a super big pair of shorts that I'm going to use for the fabric. Not really sure what I'm going to do with these yet. Um, I really don't know. I think I might make them into a bag of some type, like a um, like a bohemian kind of bag. Not sure on those yet. This is just a little tank top for my son. It's like a basic tank top. This is kind of funny because this is another one of those pieces that's like, I love the bottom, it's shorts, but it's, you don't really see these that much. This is a vintage piece, and it's by Spot Light Large, and so look at it, this, this is like, um, it's like a romper, so here's the bottom. I don't know if you can see that, but it is shorts on the bottom, 
Can you see? Short. And then it's got an elastic waist. And then check out the collar, though. The collar is kind of funky. So I might just, I don't know, I, I do like this part. But I really want to cut that off for some reason and use it for something else. And then um, I might make this just a tank top. I don't like the top of it at all. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I really like the fact that it's a romper and it has pockets. And, yeah, I'm just going to definitely alter the top of that. And I'll, I'll show you guys these pieces when I redo them. If I remember, hopefully. Maybe I'll just do a video on each of these pieces because there's quite a few of them. This is just like an everyday skirt. Kind of a cool print. And this is a big skirt. It's a little bit too big for me. So, again, I might have to alter that into something else. Or um, I might either give that away or put it on eBay. Don't know yet. Here's my other sham that I showed earlier. That's the matching one. The one that's super big that I'm going to have to buy new pillows for really super long. It's definitely for a king size bed and I have a queen. I used to have a king size bed but I don't anymore. Um, this is just a piece of fabric and it, I'm not sure if someone's trying to make it a skirt because it does have seams to it but it's a really big piece of fabric and I would say it's about two, about two yards of fabric really cute print kind of a it could be like a bohemian type print so I will definitely use that for something eventually probably not right away but I will grab the rest of this stuff this is just a cute little skirt by speechless again keep seeing that really kind of a florally looking spring print and it hits about knee length. It's a five, five, and it, it looks kind of big for a five, so I think that'll fit me. It'll probably fit like a seven, so that'll be good. I won't have to alter that or anything. So, moving right along. I almost didn't get this. I kept putting it back. Another piece that I was doing that, picking it up, putting it back down. This, I'm not sure if it's like, um, like a sleep camisole. It almost looks like it's like lingerie, but I'm not sure. It's by Worthington, which is like a JCPenney brand size medium. And I'm going to try it on and see if it fits. I'm not sure. I might do a try on for this too. I'm not sure. Maybe a few pieces. Probably not everything because obviously there's a lot of pieces in here that's um, going to be upcycle projects and stuff like that. So um, yeah, this is definitely one of those ones. I'm not sure what to do with it. It's probably going to be a little bit big. Not quite sure yet with that one. Here's another cute skirt. I like how it flows on the bottom. It's almost like a skater skirt on the bottom, the way it flows. And this is by Tracy Evans Limited. Not super familiar with that brand, but it's a size 7. Okay, so moving right along. This is, let's see, we're almost done, I promise you. By, this is by Style & Co, size small. I really like the fabric of this, and I kind of like the top. I don't like the collar, so I'll probably just cut the collar out of this one and just, just wear it like that, I think. And there's another one that's just like that one. It's in this print. So they're exactly the same, size small, but yeah, definitely don't like the collar on that one either. I do like the print on this one a little bit better, so those are definitely going to be refashioned ones, or maybe I'll just sell those as a lot on eBay, I don't know, not sure about that yet. This is a handmade shirt, this was a dollar. And it's got little ruffles, like big old sleeves with ruffles, which I thought was really cute and kind of bohemian looking. So I think I'll put that in my Etsy shop. And it's definitely off the shoulder. So yeah, that could be really cute, belted maybe, or just wear it as like, um, kind of like a festival shirt. I don't know. Is it too grandma-ish? 
I don't know, what do you guys think about this? Do you think it's too grandma-ish, I should throw it out, or recycle it, revamp it, or trash it? Really like the sleeves, that's the only reason I actually grabbed it was because of the sleeves. Not super fond of the print or the fabric, because it's just like a real sheer kind of cotton, almost like a curtain. So yeah, I'm not sure about that one. What do you guys think about that one? Leave me a comment below, or, or any of these pieces, what do you think? Or do you have any refashion ideas for any of these? Or if you do refashions, or if you know of anyone that does, or have some good tips on anything like that, definitely leave me a comment below. I would love to hear what you have to say about that. Um, I also have a blog on refashioning, too. It's um, earthangelclothing.blogspot.com if you would like to check that out. There's a lot of refashion projects on there, and there's also links to my Etsy shops on there. This is another dress and it's by Jonathan Martin, size 7. I really like the fabric of it. I mean, actually, no, I don't really like the fabric, but I like the print. I don't know if you could hear, but the fabric is kind of like, kind of weird. I don't know what kind is it. It's polyester, 100% polyester, so. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with this one yet. I think I just might use it for the fabric. I'm not sure yet on that one. Let's see. This is just like a workout top by Under Armour, and if you guys know this brand, this is a pretty expensive brand. This is probably like, I don't know, $30 or $40 for a top like this. It's just a basic workout top with a built-in bra, and this is just one that I'm going to keep for myself. So I like having this kind of stuff on hand. for. I live in a really warm area, so it's always good to have stuff like this for like going to the river trail or anything like that. There's definitely lots of places to go on hikes and work out and stuff like that so definitely gonna keep that one be needing that one this summer definitely here's a shirt by forever 21 and it's just kind of like a summery looking beach looking shirt that has shells on it and it's a little crop top so I thought that was super cute I'm not really into the crop, the whole crop top thing, but I don't know. Maybe I'll try it on and see what it looks like. I would definitely wear a shirt under it if I do. If I do try that out. But I like the sleeves of it. It's got elastic sleeves, so it kind of rolls over, kind of like a bubble effect. So yeah, that's the last piece I have in this haul. And I will do some more of these once I go um, to yard sales, thrift stores, um you know, rummage sales, all that kind of stuff, so I always go to those, so if you would like to see those, go ahead and like and subscribe, and I'll definitely do more of those. If you like seeing these kind of videos, leave me a comment and let me know, you know, what you like to see and what kinds of things you like to buy at these kinds of stores, and yeah, so anyways, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day. Bye.